Hey guys, I thought I'd do a video describing how I took this thrift store hands-on throttle and stick setup and turned it into a functional USB joystick for modern systems. This will just be a quick overview of how I built this joystick system uh, and I'll go into more detail in later videos so that I can kind of get into the nuts and bolts of it and answer some questions that I'm sure people likely have about uh, the software and everything else that I did to make this work. So I got this hands-on throttle and stick set up from the local value village and I instantly wanted to take it home. It was only five dollars for the whole thing and it just feels amazing. It's got a really really solid grip to it, really nice feeling trigger buttons. The throttle is very smooth and it's just studded with all of these buttons and these switches and everything. But of course with this kind of a connector it's not going to connect to my modern PC, uh, let alone a Linux machine. So what I decided to do was actually replace the main board in the uh, weapons control system here and use the original plug to connect the original joystick, reutilizing the pots that are in here because they were still in good condition. Uh, and what I'll do here is I'll actually take this apart and I'll show you the main board inside to show you what I did to it. Okay, so now that I've got the screws out, there's actually a little detent in here that'll fall out if I open it up the wrong way around. So I'll flip this over, and we'll take it off, and that right there is a little plastic bit that'll go missing if you open it the wrong way around. So what we've got in here is we've got the guts. You can't really see much of the main board in there, but you can see that I've got an Arduino Pro Micro that's working as the actual brains of the unit. Um, you plug that in to uh, USB on your computer, and it gets detected as a regular joystick. And I've reutilized the uh, original uh, potentiometer here for the throttle. It was still in good condition. Um, you can kind of see that that is a homemade board that I've I've knocked together. I think I put that together with Eagle CAD, and uh, it worked out great. Um, I'll show you some of the uh, some of the components I put on there. Uh, I was actually doing some prototyping with some HC165 shift registers, which are these little guys here. I'll see if I can get them into focus. So they're quite tiny. That was a little bit tricky to solder. Uh, it came out okay pretty good with the uh, toner transfer method for making these circuit boards. These little breakout boards that I made here for the shift registers were immensely helpful in doing all the debugging and troubleshooting on the breadboard before actually committing them to a board. Uh, what I did was I just bought a whole bunch of these shift registers because they're really quite cheap from DigiKey um, and uh, decided to use them for my buttons to get all 16 buttons on this actually working with the microcontroller. The microcontroller doesn't have enough inputs to actually do all of these buttons so the shift registers made a lot of sense. On the breadboard here you can actually see that I've used an Arduino Micro. Um, I didn't actually use an Arduino Micro in the uh, finished product. What I ended up using were some knockoff uh, SparkFun Pro Micros, which were, I think they were $2 from China uh, via eBay. And uh, just burned them and worked. It was no problem at all. Very easy system to work with. Anyway, in future videos, I'll go through a bit more detail about uh, how I made this and the software I used. And I'm going to try to assume as little knowledge as possible. Uh, but if anybody has any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I will see if I can do a video to explain whatever it was that was not clear, and uh, we'll go from there. Hopefully I can turn this into a series that everybody likes. All right, thanks for watching.